Okie dokie. In this problem, we are given a population graph over time, and they ask us to determine the greatest rate of change, rate of change meaning the slope of population. So we're looking for the most positive slope. So when we're analyzing these segments from left to right, we can eliminate any segments that have a negative slope. So this one out, this one out, this one out, this one out. And then the remaining three segments, one, two, and three, all have positive slopes. In other words, they have positive rates of change. So what we need to do is, between these three, identify which one has the most positive or the steepest slope. So the one with the steepest slope will be the most positive. So it looks like number one is somewhat flat, number two is pretty steep, and number three is a little less steep than two. So two, the slope of two would be our most positive slope visually. So what we can do now is find the slope algebraically by using slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have to identify the ordered pairs at each of these two points. So let's give that our best shot. It looks like the first one is at about 7.4 uh, for the x value. And then its y value is maybe, you know, it's just an approximation game here. So maybe 2.2, say. So we'll do 2.2 for its y value. Now we'll find the second ordered pair or identify its x and y value. So the x value may be about 9.2. And then its y value just around maybe 3.3. And as long as it's a good enough approximation, it should give us what we're looking for. So now we use y2 minus y1, so 3.3. 3.3 minus 2.2, all divided by 9.2 minus 7.4. We can just work this out by hand. 3.3 minus 2.2 is 1.1. And in the denominator, 9.2 minus 7.4 should be almost 2, but it's 0.2 less. So it would be 1.8. So we have 1.1 divided by 1.8. Let's break out Desmos. 1.1 divided by 1.8 is approximately 0.61. So 0.61 or maybe about 0.6. So we do see an answer for that. So we break out the eraser and we see that A is our most positive slope or rate of change. Feel free to check out the second example. I will work out for this one.